In the last lecture, we looked at why 5G is called 5G. In this video, I will try and explain 5G in simple words. This slide contains a lot of details, but there is no need to fully understand everything or remember everything. In 2G and 3G, the main focus of the mobile network was, was, was on voice. Data was secondary. If you look at the two circles on the left, they indicate the circuit switched or CS domain and packet switched or PS domain. In 2G and 3G, the CS domain was used for voice and the PS domain was used for data. From 4G onwards, CS domain doesn't exist anymore. So voice is also sent as data. The voice was known as 4G voice or VOLTE, right? Or vo vo voice over LTE. The problem is that this was complex, so some of the networks and devices did not support VOLTE. These devices fall back to 2G or 3G voice network for voice. So this is called the circuit switch fallback or CSFB. In fact, you can try this at home. If your phone icon is showing 4G and you make a normal voice call, not the WhatsApp or a Skype call, if your icon changes to 2G or 3G, your device is doing CS fallback, otherwise it's using VOLTE. The main enhancement of 4G over 3G was that it supported higher data rates, so faster downloads and uploads can happen. In 5G, the focus shifted from faster speeds only to three things, higher data rates or enhanced mobile broadband, support for large number of small sensor-based or IoT devices, which is called the Massive Machine Type Communications, MMTC, and low latency and high reliability, which is the URLLC, or Ultra Reliable and Low Latency Communications. So in summary, 5G focuses on improving connection density, reducing latency, and increasing the speed or throughput as compared to the earlier generations. So this is just to give an idea of the magnitude of changes. As you can see, in theory, 5G is much faster than 4G with a really low latency and a very high connection density. You have to remember that these are just theoretical. In practice, the current 5G networks will be just a bit better than 4G networks. But over the next many years, they will keep getting better and better. I show this slide to just tell people that if there is a 5G network, right, that doesn't meet any of the theoretical values we discussed, doesn't mean it's not 5G. There will be many different flavors and all these flavors will be very, very different. So you will have a lots of different types of 5G and most of the initial 5G will be just slightly better than 4G. So this was in short 5G in simple words. Next, we will look at what is meant by standalone and non-standalone 5G.